Hello there, I'm Tom from Smart here, and in this video we're going to discuss um, what's the difference between RG6 and RG59 cable and what we can use them for and are they compatible, are they interchangeable and um, which one's best. So uh, let's begin, I'm just going to start by giving a brief description of both cables and then we're going to go through the commonalities and where we can use them or where we can't use them or where we should and shouldn't use them, shall I say. Um, let's begin with the RG59 cable. So the RG59 cable, I've got it here, it's the black one. Uh, I'm going to just prepare the end. And I'm going to, so we can have a little look inside because I'll prove show in a minute. We're just looking at uh, a bit of black paint. But the real magic happens inside. Now what we've got, we've got the outside PVC, um, you know, cable jacket, then we've got the, the ground shield, the braid, which is that. On this particular cable there's no screen, there's no screen, so most cable, most good cables have a little bit of a screen on there. On this particular one, uh, it hasn't got one. Uh, it's a lot more common with RG6, it's what we call single screen cables. Uh, it's a lot more common with RG6 than it is with so RG59, it's RG6. Um, most RG6 type cables, which would be WF100 and all this sort of stuff, they they typically double screen these days. It's, it's hard to find a single screen cable. A lot more common with RG59. But not to say that they're all, because a lot of ones we have are double, double screened. Uh, we cut that in there. So, there. So we've got like a little centre conductor. Um, so it's got the braids, you've got the, the, you know, the dielectric material there, which is the um, that bit there, to get, get rid of that short, it won't go. And we've got our center conductor. Now, like, like all types of cable, you've got good quality cables and you've got core quality cables and stuff like that. Um, so that's that one. Now we've got the RG6, which is, um, if, if you're watching this in the UK, just so you know, um, when I say RG6, I don't mean the, the cheap, nasty RG6, that's branded RG6. I'm talking about the, the cable specification RG6, which actually calls for a solid centre uh, copper conductor. Um, so I think it's Trix that used to make the RG6 cable, it's cheap and nasty. I'm not talking about that. Uh, if you're watching this in the USA, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But in the UK, we have some uh, very negative opinions of RG6 because people don't quite know the full story, usually. Um, and I'm just going to repair, repair back the RG6. This is this piece of cable is WF100, which is made by Webro. But there are similar, you know, good quality cables like CT100 or PF100. It's quite a readily available one. You can, I think if you can buy that at screw fix and stuff like that. Webro, I think they only sell within the trade, so it's what it's my preferred cable, um, and it's, what, it's certainly what we use for all our domestic, not domestic, for all our aerial satellite work. Uh, and yeah, so we've got so on this one we've got. I'll kind of cut it back. We've got the Centre copper conductor, we've got the, the ground shield, we've got a little copper screen there, can you see it? I've already cut it back, I didn't sort of show you there, but we've got a copper screen there, so that's a double screen cable. Um, now if I grab the two, you can quite notice you see the difference. So one's RG6, WF100 is quite a bit thicker than RG59. Uh, and it basically means that the RG6 technically is a better cable, so you're going to get less signal losses down it because the set of conductors are a thicker conductor, um, and that's what we say. So that's what we use for aerial satellite. The RG59 we use for CCTV and stuff like that. But having said that, they're both rated at 75 ohms, so they are interchangeable. You can use RG6 to wire your CCTV cameras up. And you can use RG59 to, to use it for your, your TV systems, your aerial satellite TV systems. It's just not ideal. And one, one of the reasons it's not ideal is because of the connectors. Um, RG6 is designed to sort of receive something a bit more like this, uh, an F connector, and this is a screw-on version, but you can get crimp on and compression types also. And they're kind of designed to sort of fit. So if, if, you, if you try and put that onto the RG59, you're going you're to have a job to get it to fit properly. Uh, and vice versa, it, with CCTV, typically with coaxial cables, we're going to be installing um, BNC plugs. Now, just to show you, if I try and put the ring from the BNC plug over that, it doesn't fit. So you're going to have to sort of try and you know, become a bit of a sculpture artist with your Stanley blade to try and you know get it to fit, which I have done in the past. But if you try and do it on the RG59, 
just slots over nicely so we can put the rest of the plug which you know would be sort of like that um, this video isn't showing you how to make the RG, the BMC plugs um, we can do it nicely so I hope, I hope this video has been helpful you can, we can sort of see that we can use both cables for either use uh, in fact there is actually some quite good adapter plugs so if you're going to be using RG6 or DF1900 to wire up your CCTV analog cameras then you might want to buy some BNC to F adapters and so you can just terminate the, the, the cables with um, F connectors and then just get a screw on BNC adapter and then that can connect to your CCTV camera. Um, I have done another video on how to bodge F plugs onto uh, RG59 uh, which if, you, if you're interested in that go back and check that video now it's, it's in our YouTube channel um, so and I say bodge because it was a bodge but it will get you out of trouble if the cables when you saw there's nothing you can do about it so I hope you like this video if you have any questions please leave it in the section below please give it a like or a thumbs up uh, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel we've got lots more videos like this I've, I've, I've mentioned a couple of videos we have there already where we show you how to terminate these plugs so we've got videos on how to terminate F plugs we've got videos showing you how to terminate BNC plugs I've even got a video showing you how to bodge an F plug onto an RT59 cable uh, and there's lots of other stuff like that so go, go there check that out subscribe to the channel and um, yeah we'll speak soon Bye.